So here's a little video that will show you how to create your Facebook Live using Zoom. Now, the great thing about this is that it will also create that little reminder that you can see um, that actually shows people uh, that you're going to go live. So you will also be scheduling a video that will show people you know, that little message that says, oh, Stephanie Fitelli is going to go live at 3 p.m. today. And, you know, you will be able to share that and you have more, a higher chance of getting more people on the stream. So here I am in Facebook. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually show you how I got here. So first I go to my Facebook page. And in my Facebook page, which is this, I am clicking uh, publishing tools and in publishing tools I clicked on videos. Now in videos you can see there's a new live button up here. It's not been here very long so it's quite a new feature. And this is going to pop up the details of my live stream. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to pop into my Zoom which is this one. And I have just created a webinar, um, which you create over here. So I would go to my webinars and schedule a webinar. And this webinar is going to be, let's say, 1 p.m. I give it all the usual settings. Um, I won't have any panelists in this Facebook Live. Um, the audio is from my computer. Okay, and I don't want Q&A. So I'm going to schedule this. Um, I want to configure the live streaming. So the live streaming is going to come from Facebook. So here I am back on Facebook. The server URL, I'll just copy that, and that is going to go in my stream URL. I go back to Zoom, go back to my Facebook then, and get my stream key, which as you can see is right here in my Zoom features. And then down here, um, this is a tricky one. Um, you need to find your Facebook page live streaming URL. So uh, let's have a look. Um, if I go to Facebook and I go to my page, I can see the actual address of my page up here. See, Stephanie Fitani must have been taken, so I use Stephanie Fitani content. So what I do. Um, I'm actually going in my Zoom and I'm going to put the URL of my page slash live. And that's it. I've got all my features sorted. And I can now go to Facebook and I can write something that will show in the features. So I'm going to say going live this afternoon. And you can call, you can give it a name, tags and video, and at the bottom here, you can schedule it. So as you can see, this will appear on Facebook and people will be able to click get a reminder. And when you go live, they will actually be reminded that you have gone live. So it's, it's great. You can also upload a different image. So if you don't want to have this, but you want to use a different image, you can upload it as well. And over here, you can actually choose the date and the time. It will not be chosen automatically. Um, so you need to choose the same time here that you've done on Zoom. Little notice here, very important. If you are late, you are more than 10 minutes late for your live. Um, you will have a problem going live directly from Zoom. So always make sure that you are punctual. And if you're not, as a safety feature, go live 
directly on Facebook ideally because this setup will not work very well. So always try to be a little bit early. You know, I like to, I like to be at my computer at least 45 minutes before my live. So I'm well prepared and everything goes fine. So do make sure that you don't overrun those 10 minutes. And then um, once you have, once you have uploaded your image and sorted everything else, um, let's see, let's do it PM. Mine was 1 PM. And you schedule. And there you go. Then people can find this on your website. Um, I'll show you quickly how it, how it happens. So once I've scheduled that, I can actually go to Stephanie Fitani content slash live. See the previews gone up right here. And here you can see that I'm going to go live. See? And if you, you can actually see your video once you click on it. And this um, is a live video that will start working where, when you actually go live. If you give people the URL facebook.com slash stephaniefitemicontent slash live, um, you can actually share that and people will automatically land on this page. I hope you found that useful. And thank you very much for following me.